Okay, so here is a take on the square knot. I'm going to show you and remind you of the square knot and what that looks like when we just do it in a line. Then I'm going to show you a different type of square knot that um, just alternates the strings that we use. And then I'm going to show you how to turn a square knot into a bobble. So three different knots for you to practice. So we've got four strings and we've got two that become our holding threads and two that become our working threads. And just a reminder, the square knot takes one over. That one comes over the one you've taken across and up through the little backwards D you've created. And then you pull it tight. Do the same from the opposite side. And you can do these square knots one after each other. So that's one or you can leave gaps in between them. So I'll do two next to each other. So that's two. And then if I want, I can leave a little bit of a gap and just do the next square knot a little bit further down. So let's do it there, just to create a little effect. Pull it tight. Make sure those middle ones are flat. Do another one. So that's just doing two square knots, leaving a little bit of a gap, doing two more square knots. So just showing you how you can use a square knot but make it a slightly different design. Again, leave a gap and carry on. Like so. down to where you want it to be and then again it's a nice combination of a way to do um, perhaps the strings on the side of a plant hanging so now I'm going to move over to this one and we're going to do exactly the same thing that we just did I'm going to do a square knot first and I'm going to show you how to just mix it up a little bit so there's my first square knot using the strings on the outside of the four strings that I had. Now to mix it up I'm going to put those strings in the middle so those strings that were on the outside are now in the middle and to tie the square knot I'm going to use these two that I've moved to the outer side and you'll see that it creates this nice little pattern in the middle. So now rather than just a gap that looks like this you've got a twisted gap that looks like that and I can do the same thing again so I bring them in to the middle do my square knot with the ones that are now the outside threads my square knot complete and then do the same thing again so bring the outer ones into the middle take the middle ones to the outside and then tie yourself a square knot and you can vary you know how near you tie it to whether you leave in a big gap or a little gap and create different looks like so so that's a square knot where we alternate which threads become the outer threads okay final one so still doing a square knot but this time we're going to create a bobble effect so, square knot first. And I'm just going to do it away from the top so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to do three square knots. Just pull my threads tight. That's one. Two. and that's three okay so I know I've got three square knots because I've got those three bumps on this side now I'm going to take these tails I'm going to pass them up through the gap 
in those four threads at the top. So I'm going to pass those through like so and pull them through until I've created a little bobble and then using these strings on the outside I'm going to do another square knot to hold my bobble in place. Like so. And that's how to create a bobble knot. So I'm going to twist those round and do another one. So three square knots to start with. So just take that to there. One. Two. And three. And then take the ends that you've been tying round through the gap in the middle and pull them round and then use these strings that are sticking out either side to do a square knot to hold your bobble in place. Okay, so a square knot with gaps square knot with alternating threads used as the working and holding threads and a square knot turned into a bobble.